Well, today we're making chanterelle mushroom risotto with parmesan and basil. I'm Marley Hall with Chic.TV, your lifestyle video magazine. I'm here in the kitchen at Bruno Jamé restaurant with chef John Keller. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Okay, so what are we going to need for this risotto? Uh, okay, basically we have uh, chanterelle mushrooms. Uh -huh. Okay, I have a little extra virgin olive oil. Our boreal rice, a uh, little truffle butter that I've made. I've got one small onion, diced. Parmigiano Reggiano, nice dry white wine, little white truffle oil, mm -hmm. and basil. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. What do we okay. do? Uh, I'm just gonna get my pan going okay. a little bit. I can get a little bit of uh, the olive oil in there. Okay. It's about two tablespoons or so, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't want the pan to get too hot because uh, I don't want to burn the onions. So I'm gonna start them while it's a little bit. I wouldn't say cold, just kind of warm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna sweat these till they're translucent. Okay. I like to add a touch of salt and pepper to them in the beginning, it just kind of helps, helps them. Now, they're starting to get a little translucent as you can see, mm -hmm. you know? So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the risotto. Here I have uh, two cups of risotto. Uh, arborio rice is what I'm using. I'm just gonna add this straight to the uh, onions. And I'm gonna stir this, just to kind of coat the rice with that oil. Not quite there Until yet. Until it starts popping and you can yeah, smell it, start, Yeah, you'll, you'll, I'll, I'll show you, you'll smell it. it it's not a burning, it, it gets maybe almost a little nutty, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, basically I'm just toasting the rice. <laughs> uh, what I have here also is uh, hot chicken stock. Now, you can use vegetable stock if you're not in the chicken stock. You can use water. You know, I prefer chicken stock. This is more the traditional way, but, you know, there's no necessarily rules okay. to what you have to use. It's starting to kind of, uh, see, oh, yeah. it's starting to smoke a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. I do get that nutty aroma. Yeah. So, now I'm going to add a little white wine. A little white wine? I'd say it's basically... Wine goes with everything, right? Exactly. <laughs> we'll say that's about a, a half a cup of white wine. Okay. And that's... That's just going to get the uh, the rice to start to cook, mm -hmm. and you know it adds a little flavor to it. You know, a little acidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the starch is coming out. That's mm -hmm. that's good. Risotto is definitely uh, it's a fun thing to make. You know, yeah. you have to be in it. You have to stir it. You have to watch it. You have to pay attention to it. Right. Uh, it's kind of a love thing, I guess. You know. Yeah, you can't just set it and leave it. Exactly. It needs love and attention. That's it. <laughs> So now once the wine is pretty much you know absorbed into the rice, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna add some hot chicken stock. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with the stock mm -hmm. the first time. I'm gonna go one more ladle. So I mean I guess I basically put in about 20 ounces, which would be about two and a half cups of chicken stock so far. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just lightly stir this. Uh, basically, I just turned it down, so we're gonna let this cook on uh, medium heat and let the, the stock absorb into the rice. And uh, then we're gonna check it, which from experience I know we're gonna have to add more stock. And then we'll have to pay a little more attention to it and keep stirring it so that it doesn't stick and it doesn't burn. As you can see though, it's actually starting to get a little more creamy as it's absorbing the yeah. stock. So just keep stirring that now, once it starts to get like that. And while you're doing that, I'm they're gonna start- like fatter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. they're gonna start to plump up and um, just get creamier and creamier. Okay. Uh, now while she's doing that, I'm gonna saute these uh, mushrooms. I'm okay. just gonna use a little bit of the oil. I'm gonna get the pan nice and hot, where the oil's just about smoking. I mean, it's pretty much almost there. I, uh, like when the oil, it gets kind of, uh, it almost starts to look like water, I guess, in the pan, mm -hmm. from the heat. And I'm just gonna add these mushrooms in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. What? Now I'm just gonna let these cook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this into the risotto mm -hmm. in the last uh, three minutes of cooking. Okay. So that the flavor from the mushrooms 
gets gets uh, kind of you know absorbs into the risotto. I don't want to put any color on these. I just kind of want to soften them up a little bit, mm -hmm. which they're pretty much there. We're going to let them sit for a yeah. few minutes anyway. Yeah, they have nice so, color. So, I'm just going to let them sit there while we finish the risotto. Now, that's getting a little bit drier. Let me feel that one second. Okay. I, I know from cooking it for a while, but I still want to taste it to make sure. Basically, what you're looking for is uh, it's al dente, which is like to the tooth. It's got a little bite, mm -hmm. but it's not, you know, crunchy at all. It, it's just kind of has a nice texture to it, mm -hmm. you know? This is ready now. I can add, I'm gonna add another ladle and a half. Which would be, stock. yeah, which would be uh, another 12 ounces, one, uh, one and a half cups. Okay. Um, and actually we can turn this up a little bit since we're, we can keep our eye on it. Again, it's hot, the stock is hot already. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna kind of Just turn it up until it comes to a nice uh, boil again, and you can see how that how the texture is just you know how it's changed. Yeah. It's thickened. It's getting more creamy. Exactly. So we're almost done here, right? But yeah, we're pretty much finished. Um, so this has been cooking. I'd say now for about 12 minutes, um, and you can see how it's the, the rice is nice and plump, and mm -hmm. it kind of looks like it's just kind of pulling pulling together. Yeah. It's a creamy. Exactly. And what we're going to do now is all we have to do is finish it. So, I'll tell you what, I'll let you finish that. If you could grab the basil right here, okay. we can throw that basil, basil. in there. The yeah, well, you can, yeah, just throw it in whole. It's, the, the leaves are going to wilt, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. very simple. This is truffle butter. Yeah. We're going to put the whole thing in there. Say about a tablespoon and a half. Sure, get it all. That's good stuff. Yeah. And then just kind of stir all that together. You want me to stir it? Sure. Oh, my goodness. I'm tired. <laughs> right? You've worked enough yeah. for today. Here. Right. Try to get all the way in there, like you feel in the bottom of the pot. Oh, yeah. I'm in there now. Okay. There we go. Just yeah. kind of flip it around. Right. you got to put some muscle into it. Yeah. Ooh, that smells really good. Yeah. Now, it's starting to look a tiny bit dry to me. Mm -hmm. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a touch more stock. Yeah. And okay. she wanted to be nice yeah, and creamy and we're gonna, and we're gonna throw Parmesan cheese right in there. Oh, that's a lot of Parmesan cheese. Yeah. You're not shy with the cheese. Not at all. <laughs> oh, that sounds even better now. Let me give that a taste. Mm -hmm. How is it? I need salt. No salt. I like salt. I need a little salt and pepper there. Very generous with the salt. I'm gonna put a, uh, a little bit of truffle oil mm -hmm. at the very end. That sounds really good. Yeah. And we should be ready to go. Let me give it another taste. It's very ooey gooey from the cheese. Ooey gooey. But we like it that way. <laughs> I'd say we're ready to go with that. Basically, I mean, this would probably serve about four people, mm -hmm. four to six, depending on how much you like to eat. Nice. I just serve it in one big bowl, family style. Um, mm -hmm. So how bowl. long is the total cook time? Uh, total cook time for two cups of, of rice, I'd say 15 minutes mm -hmm. total. Wow, 15 minutes and you got this? I'd say that's a good deal. So exactly how much chicken stock do we need for this? Uh, I used uh, five and a half cups. Five and a half cups. Five and a half cups of chicken mm -hmm. stock. And it all went to good use. Oh yeah. So how do you serve this dish here at the restaurant? I will serve it just like this in a bowl. Mm -hmm. And is this and considered an entree? No, this would be an appetizer. Mm -hmm. And then I would uh, drizzle a little bit of truffle oil right. on top. An appetizer, just getting started here folks. <laughs> And a little Parmesan cheese. Right on top there. Yep. More cheese is always good. That's it. And that's it. That's what we have. And now for my favorite part, the tasting. May I? Please do. Okay. Make sure I get a nice yeah. mushroom. Mm. Oh, really good. You have yeah. to try this. All right. <laughs> right. I know you made it, but still, you got to try it. Really good. 
So here you have it. Chanterelle mushroom risotto with basil and parmesan here at Bruno's Not My Restaurant. And I'm here with Chef John Keller. What's better than this? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Big.TV, your lifestyle video magazine. I'm going to keep eating. You don't mind.